Welcome along guys, well I'm finally at Wheels Motorcycles in Peterborough, it's been a long time coming but I've finally come up, made the effort, had a tour of the store, absolutely fantastic and basically I spotted this little beauty, this is the new Zero FS SRF, this is I think everyone's raving about this. They're not actually out until September. This is the, oh, the specs of this are incredible. It's 140 new meters of torque, recharging in 40 minutes from flat to 90% charge, an hour to full charge. This is the first electric bike I've ever heard of where it's actually a practical machine. 150, about 130, 140 a mile range apparently. Ridiculous amounts of power. Ridiculous amounts of torque. I can't wait to get on it. Let's go. Oh, so throwing a leg over it, it feels, there's no clutch of course, he's reaching for the clutch already. It feels a bit like a, a super dupe, I guess. A bit, bit bigger here maybe. Feet on the pegs. Yeah, that sort of position, it's very super juke like Twist the throttle, and we are basically off. Brakes in regular place, so the rear brake is where it should be. <laughs> this is bizarre. So I'm in Peterborough, it's not my local stomping ground, so I don't really know where I'm going. I want to try and find some decent twisties to see what this handle's like. Because for me, providing a bike handles, I'm not too worried about what power it makes. <laughs> but this is really rather strange. Absolute silence apart from a slight whizzy whizzy whiz whiz. The old, I can't remember what it was called, but the old generation of these electric bikes, the old Zeros, as he goes for the clutch, they didn't have any traction control. And this, to be honest, a bike with 140 new meters of torque and ridiculous power levels, I put it on the screen what the power this thing makes is because I'm not sure because I haven't really researched this because I just saw it in the show and wanted to go so I don't know what power it makes but it's ridiculously powerful the old models with all that torque people were throwing themselves down the road on them <laughs> weren't they TMF so with these new gen bikes they actually have traction control three stage traction control if there was ever a bike which needed some traction control it's one of these it feels very very light and nimble this is 213 kilos, so it's not particularly heavy. It's a similar weight to the Super Duke. Riding position, really comfortable. Reminds me a bit of the Super Duke. You might be sat back a little bit more, a bit less Supermoto, maybe a bit more. Uh, I don't know, that the footrests aren't too high, but it's not massively sporty, the position. It's a comfortable position. I'm trying to what I can liken it to. Um, it's a, it's a, I don't want to say it because it makes it sound worse than it is, but a bit like a GS, a little bit like a GS position because the GSs are actually a, quite a sporty position. 60 mile an hour, let's go for a bit of overtaking blat. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! I was not expecting it to pick up speed like that. Jesus! That is quick! Maybe I shouldn't have just given it full gas. Let's do that again. That's unbelievable. 60 miles an hour. Wow! 85 miles an hour instantly. You have to, if you just snatch that throttle open, it's seriously rapid. Brakes are very, very good. Obviously, it does regen on this as well. I think in the normal sport setting, it doesn't do regen when you brake. I like a bit of regen because it feels like you've got the engine braking. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to the customized mode on this, which is set up for maximum power, maximum speed, but also regen. Yeah, it's, that's maximum regen. So it actually feels like you're riding like a big V twin, I'd say. The amount of Yeah, amount of engine braking, there's a good bit of engine braking, and every time you're getting that engine braking, you're recharging the battery. It's a win-win. Where's my clutch? <laughs> Just that getting used to not having to change gear. It's very civilised, incredibly civilised. It's actually got a bit of an Aprilia feel to it. That is an Aprilia switch gear. So is this. 
there must be some inv there are Aprilia indicators there must be some involvement with Aprilia on the building of these which is no bad thing brakes we well, you barely need to use the brakes without much engine braking but the front brake is very nice let's have a look yeah it looks like a 330 mil setup and just sat at the lights silence I don't mind electric bikes. I know a lot of people, when I buy the FXS, a lot of people are very anti. Very, very anti. It's obviously the future. You know, they are coming. There's no, there's no denying electric vehicles are coming. But I love them. I, I, I appreciate them for what they are. I love a petrol engine, obviously, don't we all? But there is definitely a place in the world for one of these. How does it handle? Can you hang off it? Can you get your knee down? It handles very, very well. If it handles, I say it handles, it handles like a conventional sporty motorcycle. Front brake is incredibly powerful. You cannot feel that, but I mean, it's 213 kilos, so I've got to say you can't feel that weight, but it's not even really heavy. Oh, that's a lot of front brake going in. It just picks up speed so quickly, you, you're at that next corner before you know it. Don't you pull out on me, sir. He did. From 50, when you give it full throttle, doesn't it pick up speed? The suspension also seems pretty decent. Wow. Wow, you can get yourself in all sorts of trouble with this. <laughs> Rear brake, excellent. Very, very nice rear brake. And that front brake is very nice, progressive, and very powerful. Like I was saying, we've got 71 mile range. Let's keep my eye on that. This is gonna be a heavy throttle ride though. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not interested in my range at this point. I just wanna test this as a motorcycle, as a fun motorcycle. Whoa! I think it must be restricting the power from zero because it seemed to pull stronger from 50 than all it does from zero. It must be the traction control, obviously. Let's give it a gas, full gas. Yeah, it's definitely not giving it full power yet. Now it's giving it full power. So that traction control is actually limiting it at the lower speeds because I guess if it unleashed everything at that low speed, you'd be snaking up the road. I mean, you may be able to go into the up options and just the traction control let's have a look yeah traction is on no i'm not even going to go there <laughs> but it looks like it is actually reducing power at the lower speeds and then punches when you get above 50 just to keep it in check because it be oh to unleash everything from low down you oh that would be a hell of a thing whoa look at it go left hand uh hang off it a little bit punch to the next corner hang off a little bit punch again can we get a wheelie over the crest <laughs> not quite so I don't know the full specs of this because I've seen it in the showroom to say I want, I want that one I want to go on that one so I don't know the full specs of it but this one is the top of the range model I think with the extra bells and whistles heated grips the quick charge functionality and I think this one's about £18,000. So there it is. It's a good looking bit of kit, isn't it? It is a good looking bit of kit. I really like the look of it. It's actually got, it looks much better than the older versions. I mean, the, the I don't know, I, th I guess it's the actual battery in there, but it looks sort of like an engine. I guess the battery, I think the batteries have got to be encased in like steel these days, I believe. I, know, I don't know that much about electric bikes, but as a motorcycle, that looks nice. I believe in here you've got the charging port. That's like your main industrial type charger you see at the garages. So this will recharge in 40 minutes to 90% charge. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? You can stop and have a bit of lunch and your bike's recharged for another 120 miles. And that's all your cables in that cubby hole there. So that's to plug it in. There's also a normal charger at home. So if you plug it into like the uh, the charges you see at the garages, etc. It's 40 minutes. If you plug it in at home in your main socket, it's about four hours 
to charge. So still not too bad. That is the motor, of course, massive motor. Show a suspension. Belt drive, so you've not got to worry about chain maintenance. It's belt drive, which is a nice touch. And there is the motor again from this side. Headlights. It's good looking. Yeah. <laughs> Let's jump back on. Bingo! <laughs> that is so addictive. That performance is so addictive. Well, now I've known it's got the Diablo Rosso courses on, I'm a bit more confident in flying it over. Oh, it went a bit wide there. It's weird, it's a little bit weird around the corners. You need to power out of them, I think. You need to... So fast! It's proper quick. It's proper... Uh, what would you compare the performance to? It's weird because it's, it's also very different sort of power delivery to anything else you could possibly ride. Because you know, you've got no gears, it's just one long gear basically. I do wish with these electric bikes they'd give you an option for some gears. Why not have some sort of gears on it? And, you know, I, I think that would give make people accept these bikes more if it had gears because it you know, it's just a twist and go. It is a little bit, it's not as much riding involvement. And obviously that would help with performance as well, because even though you've got, wow, it hits. And then as the, as the revs increase, the torque decreases. So you've only got like that 140 Newton meters of torque at lower RPM. The higher up the RPMs, the torque reduces. So that's just the way they work with this instant torque. Which is why they're always so instantaneous because they deliver maximum torque from zero revs or one rev <laughs> I suppose so as the revs increase that that pull reduces slightly poodle pace to mental do you want to get past somebody there's no mm -mm, get a knock it down a couple of gears <laughs> get it in the power no it's already in the power bang Two cars done. Hang off, these are tight corners. Give it some lean angle. I'm still building up the lean angle. It's a bit of a weird sensation when you lean right over. I don't know if it's because you haven't got that gyroscopic effect of the engine. When the bike's leaning over, it just wants to lean over more. Whereas normally a bike would sort of stay, stay at that lean angle. It's sort of a bit weird. It tends to fall into the bends a little bit more. So I think I need a bit of longer time with it to learn how to really chuck it around but it, it's so light on its feet I'm sure once you're used to that it would be incredible oh the future is electric we all know it and I'm, I'm pleased it's reassured me that I'm still gonna have fun in the future I'm still gonna be able to go out hooning I'm still gonna be able to go out hooning even when we've got to ride electric bikes <sighs> How reassuring. So there we go, massive thanks to Wheels Motorcycles for lending me this little beauty to hoon round on. Get yourself down to Wheels as I am at Wheels <laughs> and experience this electric malarkey for yourself. Thanks so much guys. Stick around, stay tuned. I'll be back on something else pretty soon. It's a bit of kit, isn't it? <laughs> I don't need none of your fossil fuels. <laughs> I'm just turning round, sorry. Well, I only need your fossil fuels to produce electricity to recharge it. <laughs> Easy, mate. Easy.